Chloe Jacobson, and today I'm meeting with Dr. Adelberg to discuss the current AP situation. At the beginning of the school year, students were informed that the policy regarding AP classes had changed. Students are now required to pay for their AP tests. This was an extremely controversial change among the student body. So the current situation with the AP exams is that for the first time in a number of years, students actually have to pay to take the exams. We used to do that. We did that for many years. Most schools do that. But for the last few years, we've been fortunate enough that in our budget, we've been able to pick up the cost. And it's costly, uh, which I understand. And so the, the issue, that's the issue right now, is that it's changed because students weren't expecting that because it's the budget last year said that we can no longer do that. What I think a lot of students don't know is that not having to pay for their AP exams was unique to Fox Lane. Every place in our area, most schools across the country, that's the standard, is that students pay to take the test because you're paying the college board for the cost of the exam, which if you then get a three or four or five and you're lucky enough to go to a school that accepts that score, is actually worth a lot more money than the money that it costs to take the exam because you get college credits. But if you check with your friends in any neighboring school district, they've always paid. When I first got here, actually, which was seven years ago, we, we were, students were paying for the exams. It wasn't a budget item. If students were notified prior to signing up for AP exams, do you think the number of students enrolled before and after would be significantly different? That's the toughest, that's the best question and that's the toughest question. Um, but I would hope that students wouldn't opt out of good courses just because of the cost of the exam. Probably would, would there be some who might have thought differently and said, well, then I'm not signing up for the course. There might have been a few. I don't know, like in other schools, if that has impacted the number of students who take it. I'm really proud that over the last few years, the numbers of students at Fox Lane taking AP exams has increased because that's a good sign that students want to take rigorous college level courses. Do you think this will serve as an incentive for students to really only take the classes they want to rather than focusing on padding their transcript with APs? I think students will try to look like they're taking a lot more rigorous courses because it looks good. And there might be some students when they didn't have to pay for the test that said, I don't care if I don't do well on the test, I don't do well on the test, but at least it's on my transcript that I took the course. Now if they're consumers and they have to pay for the test, that might change. I did a quick survey of some school of all of schools in our area, and 12 out of 12 all require students. If you're in the AP course, you pay for the test and you take the test because that adds integrity to the course and not the ability to just pad a transcript and then when the going gets rough, drop out of the course or just decide not to take the test. If students were not required to pay for their AP exams, how how would that have impacted the school? What would have been cut from the budget? So you know as a budget line, it's like a $90,000 line. You know, it's the cost of, of, of a teacher right there. Um, certainly the cost of like all of our clubs, our whole club budget is, is like $90,000. So if you want to like equate it, those are the kinds of things that you can easily equate it to. For now and forever, we still are going to have to come up with the money to help people who really can't afford it because I never want that to be a reason why students can't take a course. And so the, the unfortunate piece is that it was poorly communicated because it came out of the budget last year, and we should have said it then. We should have let people know it was coming. There could have been more preparation to know that there was going to be a change in our district's policy. And for that, I'm sorry about the communication. But I'm proud of the students who are taking AP classes, and so that's why we'll do whatever we have to do to support everybody's ability to sit for the exam. Thanks for meeting us today, Dr. Adelberg. I'm sure this will provide students with a better outlook on the APs. After meeting with Dr. Adelberg, I interviewed students to see what they think about this issue. Noah, how many AP classes are you currently enrolled in? I'm in three AP classes. So what appealed to you about taking AP classes? Um, the fact that you can get college credit for it if you do well in the AP exam and just have a bit of a challenge compared to the regular uh, classes. It's really important that everybody takes challenges themselves to their highest level. Are you aware that in years past, Fox Lane students were required to pay for their own AP exams? I am aware, 
And I'm also aware that most schools in this country make their students pay for AP exams. So is it right of us to complain that we're paying for these AP exams all of a sudden? I don't think so. And would you have signed up for these classes knowing that you had to pay beforehand? Yeah, I probably would have because I want to take an AP class. Do you know anyone who's been personally affected by this issue? Personally, no, but I, I assume that there have been people in the school who have been affected by it. No one I know has been affected by paying for the AP tests. And do you have any ideas on how we should solve this problem or any thoughts on this in general? I think to solve this problem, um, the school should maybe try to reduce the cost of them by paying for part of the AP exam, if not all of it. I can pay for the AP classes, but some people can't, and that's an issue at Fox Lane High School. So the real problem is the, the stratification between the more affluent students and less affluent students in AP classes, and so that's the problem we need to address. And any, any debate about solving the price issue isn't going to fix that. Although this was initially a hot topic, student interest has waned since the beginning of the year. Thank you to Dr. Adelberg and all the students who participated in this interview.